Huh? Does it look familiar, Rose? I'm not sure. I... <gasps> yes! It's Rose. Mother! Mother! Oh, my daughter. I never thought I'd see you alive again. It's all right, Mother. I'm fine. Just fine. Oh, where are my manners? Mother, father, everyone? This is Palum, Grum, and Martin. Martin, the warrior. I'm Oren Vo. This is Arya. Thank you for returning our daughter to us. Where's Brom? Will he be here soon? He's not here. But he should have been here long before us. Oh, Brom. Where are you? ready. Wait for my signal, all right? Be careful, Feldo. Please. <laughs> it's not me you have to worry about. Bad Rang ain't got me standing guard up on the wall like those fellas. <laughs> Them slaves is learning fast. Now, if and me and Bad Rang was steer partners, I'd raise the alarm. But seeing as how he thinks I'm his slave, I think I'll lies right here and enjoy the show. Too. It'll make them think there's more of us. Steady on there, young chappy. Dangerous move, that, don't you know? We've no time for safety, Bala. This is war. Juniper, and you three, come with me. He's getting madder by the second. Afraid you might be right there, young soldier. Oh, if only Martin and Rose were here with reinforcements. They'll be here. You mark my words. Hey. They'll be hiding in those rocks on the shore. Archers, flash them out! Now, what's that? Get down! <laughs> Get up, you fools! The slimy tricksters are around the back! Here they come. Wait till they get to the middle of the wall. Stay now. Now! It's a trap! Down! Return fire! Show yourselves and fight! I think 
I see him, sire. Where? Over there. Coming this way. Well, they'll never get here. On my command. We made it home, lads. We're safe. We're home. We're safe. <laughs> the idiots are attacking. Let them get close now. Wait for it. Fire! <laughs> Must be the dandelion wine. <laughs> we got him, sire! Every single one! I only wish I could have seen the looks of surprise on their stupid faces. <laughs> Did you see that? The idiots are shooting at each other. Indeed they are. So, this may be as good a moment as any for us to depart the battleground. Leave? Why would we leave now? It's Juniper! Oh, no. All right there, youngster. I'll carry him. No! I will. We shall never be able to thank you enough for bringing our daughter safely home. If there's ever anything you need... Actually, sir, I would ask a favor. Speak as it is yours. I need help. Can I ask the folk of Noonvale if they will join me to free my friends from slavery? Our creatures have never seen war. They are dedicated to a life of friendship and peace. My dear... We should at least let Martin talk to our folk. Any who wish to help can decide for themselves. My wife speaks wisely. Very well, Martin. You may ask for help. Ah! You did well, matey! Got his... And two others! What? Oh, mighty kind of you to do them slaves' work for them! Ha! <laughs> I ought to kill you right now. But then, who would I have to do my burying? Have this slave dig three separate graves. Make him do it quickly. And bombs. Aye, sire. Don't spare the rod. <laughs> Juniper gave his life so that those who follow may live out their seasons in peace and freedom. We'll always be in his debt. Why? We will never forget you, Juniper. And I vow, Badring and his horde will pay tenfold for your passing. That wasn't a goodbye. It was an oath of vengeance. Feldo was my hero once, but now I don't know him anymore. Martin, before you speak to everybody, just one thing. I ask that you give up your sword for as long as you stay here. I am sorry, sir, but I give up my sword for no beast. Spoken like a true warrior. So, Martin, would you do something for me? Could you take your sword and hang it by the door? I promise no one else will touch it. That I can do. <laughs> Thank you.
father? Is something wrong? Listen to me carefully, daughter. This Martin. You must never let yourself grow too close to him. What are you talking about? He is a warrior, Rose. And death walks alongside him. <laughs> oh, father, there's nothing to worry about. Martin can take care of himself. Really? It's not Martin I'm worried about. Soon have Marshak all to myself. Ha! Goats! Idiots! How did you let this happen? We're trapped in here like flies! They're doing the best they can, Lord. Go easy on them. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Oh, easy? While a stinking paw full of slaves are holding Marshak uh -oh. and an entire horde under siege? Halfwits, cowards, mindless mud crawling morons! I'll show you how to deal with slaves. Huh? <gasps> Out of the way! <laughs> Keep him busy. Buras, I reckon. Only one beast. Now, I could tell his lordship he's safe to have a bit of shot eye. But who'd take the word of a slave? <laughs> What a good show. What? Oh, oh Feldo. Where did you come from, son? Just looking after some chores. <laughs> Cheering up the troops, are they? Yes, and it's done a world of good. Well, look how happy you look. Yes, you do look better. <laughs> I feel better. Oh, that's good, son. I've been worried about you. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm fine. Just fine. As a matter of fact, I think I'll turn in early. Good night, father. Good night, son. I don't like it. I can't quite put my paw on it. But Feldo is definitely up to something. I was thinking the same thing. Next time he leaves camp, perhaps we should follow him. It's time for you to return to Marshank, isn't it? Rose told me this bad rang holds your father's sword. Is that the reason you must go back? I swore an oath to my father that I would never give his sword to another. But that's not the main reason. I must drive bad rang out. Because while he has Marshank, all of us will live in fear of becoming his slaves. I understand, young warrior. It is for us all. But the thing that grieves me is that Rose will go with you. I promise you, I will take greater care of her life than I will my own. I know that, Martin. But neither of us can stop that girl from doing what she decides to do. Any sign of them? No sign of any beast, sire. Then get that mob dug in, where they can't be seen. Aye, sire. You heard him. Start digging. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. You keep them beauties digging their own graves. That'll save me some work later. <laughs> He 
has got enough javelins to stock an army. Come on. <laughs> They're all dug in, sire. And just in time. There, one beast heading in this direction. Only one? Aye, just a loner. Hmm. Tell every beast not to make a sound while I get him. If he sniffs a trap, he'll be off. Yes, sire. Don't move a muscle until I shout, Marshank. Right, sire. I'll spread the word. Keep coming. There's a good lad. Just keep on coming. <laughs> It must be some kind of trap. Velda, I'm back! <laughs> is that the best you can do, slave? I'm no slave of yours. My name is Veldo. Missed again. I suppose you can keep on throwing those things until you run out of them. Or you can put down those sticks and fight like a warrior. One on one. Sounds good to me. Have at it, then, with your courage, you mud-sucking coward. Yeah. No beast spots like that to me! I am Lord Badrang! Prepare to die! Rightful owner. Once I'm finished with it, any last words, Lord Badrang? Marshank! 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 Huh? Martin, Bark John sent me. What's happened, Baldry? The slaves are badly outnumbered. Bark John said, Tell Martin if he's coming, travel fast and bring plenty of help. You heard, Baldred. Is any beast with us? Who will help save the slaves? Thank you, <laughs> I thank you with all my heart. You gave this up freely. Now I return it. Use it for good and right, Martin the Warrior. Use it for good and right, my son. Protect those weaker than yourself. <laughs> 